I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. This is Just My DIY. Today we're taking a trip to the dark side. Of fabric design? Dun dun dun! Not really that dark. <laughs> That's right. Today we're going to try out Hippo's new transfer paper for dark fabrics on a couple of different dark t-shirts. And all we need to do it is an inkjet printer. And the Hippo transfer sheets in an afternoon. So let's show them how we do. All right. And here it is, a big thank you to Hippo for providing the transfer paper for dark fabric. Here we're going to open it up and expose the contents, a sheet of transfer paper, two pieces of greaseproof paper, and ten sheets of the actual transfer material. You can tell which side is the front and back, so go ahead and put the grid to the back. <laughs> And then we go into Cricut Design Space. We're doing a print then cut, so we have to work within those dimensions. So once we get our image sized, we go ahead and click Make It. You'll see this black registration box around the image, and that's so the Cricut will know where to cut. We go to send it to the printer. We do want to add bleed on this one, and we want to use the system dialog. That's so we can set our quality settings. That screen will pop up behind Design Space, and we select Photo Matte Paper, which gives us the best quality. One thing to note when it prints out is that it will look a little duller than it was on your screen, but don't worry, it does brighten up after you press it. Also important, don't mirror. When we do the cut, we decided that medium cardstock gave us a nice clean cut all the way through. So we put this on a regular grip mat, and you can watch the Cricut check for the registration marks so it knows exactly where to cut. And then it cuts. <laughs> Now we're going to go ahead and check to make sure that the cut was through and through. Before we eject the mat. And then we eject the mat. And then we carefully peel the image off of the mat, making sure that we don't damage any of our long-limbed creatures. <laughs> And there it is. We did do a second one, same process. So we're just going to show you um, how we pull it off the mat. Uh, but this was printed and cut the same exact way. This one does have a white outline around it, which we really wanted to try on the dark fabric. So we're going to go ahead and insert the Cricut pressing mat. Thank you. And we should have lint rolled this one first, but we didn't. So we do that the next time. You go ahead and iron it flat, get the moisture out and set it up for the design to be laid out. Peel the backing, again carefully, There's a, it's very thin after you peel off the backing and really we probably should have used the transfer paper, but we didn't, so here we are. <laughs> so we get this laid out and untangle all of his little legs and everything turned out fine with them once we got it flat. We centered the head to the collar instead of the full image, so if it looks a little off-center to you, that's why. We put down the sheet of greaseproof paper on top, making sure to cover the entire image, and then press at 330 degrees for 30 seconds with medium pressure. Okay. Hold it, look at it, go ooh and ah. <laughs> and there it is, look at how bright that popped. Now we actually lint roll for our next even darker fabric. <laughs> Remember, this is the one with the white outline because we were really curious to see how that would work on the black shirt. So, per usual, we peel off the backing and center it. Spend a lot of time trying to center it. <laughs> and again, you can tell that the colors are a little dull on this until we press it again, 330 for 30. And then the colors pop. Look at that, and that white is totally opaque. Waited 24 hours before we put them in the wash because we're sure everyone's wondering how well do they wash? And we put it on normal cycle, cold water, and medium spin cycle. And here's the result. Now 
there you go. If you found value in this content and want to support our channel and help us keep creating videos, click that super thanks button below. And if you like the video, then you should click the like button, subscribe, ring the bell. Of course, <laughs> if you have any dark ideas for some good t-shirt designs, leave them in the comment line and check out the list of materials you needed to do this down below. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram and TikTok. Our handles are down below, as well as check out our blog at JustMikeDIY.com. Thanks for watching.